wonderful. Can, can you all hear me? Eliza, can you hear me? Wonderful. My, my name is Andrea Hanley, and I am Navajo, and I am the chief curator at the Real Right Museum of the American Indian. Welcome to the first ever Curator Circle and currently online Real Right Museum public program series that will feature um, many different artists and creatives um, as we move through this new world. So watch for more programming down the road from us. Today we're featuring the wonderful Eliza Naraho Morris, who is Santa Clara Pueblo. Um, Eliza is giving us a sneak peek of the new mural, which the Wheelwright recently commissioned, entitled All Together, Making Our Way, Every Day, Medicine, Eliza Naraho Morris. And I have one quick um, note to, to, to our viewers. If you have a question, please feel free to send it to me via comments, and we'll take one question at the end of the talk. So as you just got to see, um, you saw that the mural wraps around our staircase, which features over 30 feet of two-story walls. The mural should be complete um, by the end of August. And Eliza, who has been working on the mural since late May, is inspired by the beetles she's encountered and thematically has done other work around them. The piece was created during the pandemic as well as a national call to action. Eliza and I have discussed that art in public spaces, including murals, can serve as a vehicle for dialogue about history, describe relationships, and depict the resilience of community in the hope to create equity, agency, and healing. It tells a story of becoming our most compassionate selves, our most conscious selves, and recognizes our ability and our responsibility to bring good medicine into the world. It's an acknowledgement of the current articulations of people we've come from and that we are all here together. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Eliza at the Hurt Museum, the II, II Museum of Contemporary Native Arts, and now here at the Wheelwright. I even remember the first time I met um, Eliza as a little girl when her mother, artist Nora Naraho Morris, was being honored at the Museum of Women in the Arts in Washington, D.C. Um, Eliza is a two dimensional artist and an art teacher at the Kapo Community School in Santa Clara, Pueblo. And her work explores aspects of the human experience through anthropomorphic characters, collected objects, and landscapes. Her subjects become vehicles for processing current events, personal experience, and spiritual seekings. Eliza is informed by land-based creative and cultural information of her elders and the work and the world she explores and learns from. Eliza was born in 1980 in New Mexico to a Tewa mother and an Anglo father from Connecticut. Eliza has shown her work nationally and internationally, and specific exhibition highlights include two site Santa Fe biennials in 2007 and 2016, the Mother and Daughters exhibition at the Heard Museum in 2006, and assisting her mother, Nora Naranjo Morris, with her monumental sculpture featured at the National Museum of the American Indian Smithsonian Institution titled Always Becoming, an ongoing project of 10 years. It's important to note that her mother, Nora, is the first female Native artist to have a sculpture on the Washington, D.C. Mall. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, Eliza. Um, the first one is, can you talk about the mural and ideas around community? Yes. Hi, everybody. I want to say hello to all of you. And uh, there, I know there are so many uh, family members and relatives, non-related, that are on uh, and people I haven't met yet. And I'm, I'm very thankful to, have, to be with all of you for this little moment today. Thank you for joining us. Um, I would like to talk about both the concept of the mural and the place of the mural as a way to talk about community. Um, so as Andrea said, this mural is re a revisiting of a uh, mural I created in 2016 called Forward. 
and the description, the sentiment is the same. And so I wanted to begin by reading uh, that statement or concept. A pilgrimage is a journey or a search for moral or spiritual significance. The insect the insect mural tells the story of our lives as part of an ongoing pilgrimage begun by our ancestors and continued by the people who come after us. It is a story about all of us. Um, so this current mural that I'm working on exists in a precious place. Um, the real right is under the foothills of the Santa Fe Mountains. It's on land that Pueblo people uh, created community uh, through relationship um an exchange with many other indigenous groups from all over the con continent um and it's, it's it's a place that experienced great challenge through um colonization um the front door of this museum faces east uh it's an uh its entry structure is an exhibit space modeled after a hogan um and the mural is painted in a stairwell uh, so a space that feels like we're going down to the ground. Um, I began, uh, I was introduced to this place and was welcomed by Jean Higgins, um, the interim director, as becoming, a, um, being welcomed into a family. Um, the creative efforts I'd made in this, this drawing uh, have been made by drawn directly onto the walls and so exist as a connected part of this place um, that I now see as a home that carries indigenous expression and shares it with respect and intention. Um, community exists through many layers of relationship. Uh, these relationships are not limited to human interactions, and they include and are defined by all things that exist uh, and interact within the place. Um, my intention of the mural is that it speaks to this fact that we're all making our way every single day uh, and that we're all really doing it together. We aren't separate from each other um, and that there is some um, incredible beauty in being welcoming. That's great. Um I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, your process. So I got my undergraduate degree in drawing and you started the mural by drawing and sketching out your ideas. And I just love your line. How, how important is drawing in your work? Specifically line is gesture, which I think has um, a very expressive power and um, warmth. Thank you. Um. Drawing is, is such an accessible tool and it's um, an incredible form of communication. And then it's also this very, very personal tool. Um, in the case of this mural, uh, my initial relationship of sketching it was greatly defined uh, by the heaviness of our the national issues of uh, inequality and in the health concerns that, that all of us were going through every single part of our day, our lives have been so greatly changed. Um, I brought a lot of worry and sadness to these stairs and uh, to my line. Um, and um, this place took care of me. Um, I, I really want to, uh, encourage people when this museum opens to come and to be in the space of the, the work of Charles Bolito, whose work is at the bottom of the stairs and have the experience of um, um, being cared by his, his work. Um, uh, in, in that process, I made a, re, a, a shift in my line um, from inventing the insects, which I had been drawing for years, and then sort of just uh, inventing, to returning again to, to uh, very closely looking at them. And then I was reminded or had a realization or a remembering that drawing um, is uh, like an incredible form of listening. So, uh, there are many ways to draw and all of them are, are, are beautiful, but I wanna speak specifically about life drawing. Um, the the, the uh, effort of rather than projecting what you think something looks like, 
um, to being able to become present with what it actually is. Um, and uh, through, through that, be forming a relationship of respect for how it's moving through the world. Um, uh, insects are amazing. Uh, and any, we, we can forget that because we find them all over the place. And not alone is amazing. Um, but we're in the same community with them and they're existing in their own timelines, their own life cycles, varieties, having their own relationship with this place. And so to put a, a form of like listening or care into that um, was then translated into my, my drawing. Um, in this drawing, you'll be able to see that I stray here and there from the actual form of insects, but that is to relay what I heard uh, during this time of working on the stairwell, um, really listening carefully to other people's thoughts, listening to lectures, um, hearing the table words of my co-os and my, my aunties and um, uh, listening to news sources that work to gather the voices of people so that they can tell their own stories. Um, uh, my hope is that through drawing and exercising a form of something valuable that I'm learning um, that I continue to learn, that I've been working on for many years. Um, and, um, and now that becomes a greater form of, of listening. Um, I have an enormous respect for drawing. Um, it's something that belongs to all of us. Um, uh, I, all we have to do is have yes in our hearts uh, in order to experience its value. It's here for all of us. That's great. I just have one one other question. Can you talk about your connectedness to wellness and well-being? Um, yeah, you know, I want to, I, I, I can, I, I want to begin by saying that, like, I'm not a really, a, I have no right to talk about uh, with any sort of knowledge of well-being, but I am a committed seeker of trying to return to it every morning. I wake up and I try to put it in my head that, um, to take care um, and to heal myself. Um, and I'm very thankful when somebody gets me on board to in their activities of well-being or I can drag somebody into my efforts um, because wellness is an act of community. Um, when we can be well in ourselves, we can be we can become a stronger community. Um, we're presenting strength. We're presenting um, mental agility, and um, then we present the possibility to help uh, people who aren't feeling like wellness is is as easy. Um, wellness. As I know, it isn't always easy to come by, especially today where we're existing in, structure, in st structures that don't um, create space for it. Um, and so that we begin to do that as a communal effort is something that I continually return to. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm always amazed that all of us, there's all, like on this call, for instance, or even in this room, all of us have these beating hearts and that's an incredible thing. Um, and in that caring for that, there is a way to form relationship and a way to form strength and um, a way to form health. And um, as you know, my mom reminds me, it, it begins with a, a, an awareness of, of every breath. Um, so I'm, you know, I, I continually, every day, every choice, all my good choices and my bad choices, I'm coming continually back to wellness. I was unmuted there for a while. I think that I'm having some problems with um, my audio, but I just have one other quick, quick question um, for you. And that's, um, you talk about community, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the folks that you have been working with 
um, in the last couple of weeks and maybe just give us a little bit more insight into how you're bringing community into this project. Uh, um, yes. Uh, the question is, how am I bringing community into this project? Yeah. Um, well, of course, it is with, you know, community in mind. And um, I'm very thankful. I, I want to say that I'm really thankful um, for the information given to me by um, through working in institutions and gathering the information of very, very smart people um, and getting to work with for example, the conservation team at NMAI, the Always Becoming team at NMAI, um, through many institutions in Santa Fe that are considering what it means to uh, reconsider methods of, of, of collections care, of exhibitions, and how we begin to think more communally. Um, in that way, it allows me to become braver about how I consider how my own work can do that. Um, and I make little steps um, in how to do that. And because I can work on this mural, it'll be created in August. And then because Andrea uh, uh, is, um, I'm really thankful to you, Andrea, for creating the space for me to, to develop a relationship with these walls as a form of expre an expression of being, becoming a part of a community um, for some, some amount of time. Um, it's now becoming my effort that I can include other people in this mural. Um, and so if I can uh, just uh, describe that yesterday I included my first other uh, collaborator, um, an incredible young artist named uh, Sean Tafoya Naranjo, who I have had the pleasure of working with for three, three years. Um, and uh, he has added his uh, his interpretation of his uh, and, uh, a community member in a line, um, the back of the insect expressing his his own values, uh, which are pretty clear clear to to understand. Um, he I drove him home yesterday, and he he's got to come back on Friday. But he was so excited; he felt really he felt really good and really good to return to the work, and very proud of it. And I felt really excited that in this information that I'm collecting from other people, in a way we're all doing it together, all of these institutions uh, beginning to share information about what community looks like, we be can, someone like me, artists like me, can begin to think um, more expansively about how we do that as well. And in, my case, because I so often get have the pleasure of working with very young artists, um, how to um, get, share this space in a gesture of community with them so that they can become people who practice their voices and know places like the wheelwright as a space to have their voice heard, to hear other people's voices and to participate in community. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, that's, that's wonderful. And it's so great. And it's so you too, Eliza. I think it's wonderful. I'm so happy that we were able to do this. And the first one that we did was with you, Eliza, because you're absolutely fantastic. This piece, I can't wait for um, all of our viewers and all of the, the, the folks that come to the um, wheel ride. On a, um, at any time, we're going to be able to see this soon. Um, Thank you everyone for participating in our first public program. Um, there are over 200 of you um, here today, which we think is wonderful. Um, and they come from places all over the country. I think I saw the Brooklyn Museum. I saw the Smithsonian. Um, I've, I've seen just all kinds of wonderful friends from everyone. So I wanna thank you all for coming. Again, if you, if you are interested in supporting um, the Wheelwright Museum, we would love to have you as a member or if you'd like to donate please go to our website, wheelwright.org, um, and uh, stay tuned for more events um, like this, and we'll look forward to seeing you actually in person, hopefully, 
down the road where you can see this wonderful world, uh, mural by, um, by Eliza. And again, thank you so much on behalf of the Wheelwright Museum of the American Indian. Thank you all. Have a good day, everyone. Take care, stay well.